Make sure to always torque your bolts. So just to get a perspective of the building, it is 30 feet wide and it is 50 feet deep. It is 17 feet to the peak of the roof, right there. And these are 14 foot walls. There is no lighting because I have no power to the building yet. Company is, a, is called Best Choice Metal Structures and they were very simple to deal with. Those are two 10 by 10 roll up doors. They actually work really well. Uh, the only thing that I didn't upgrade or change and didn't realize they lock from the outside, um, which isn't a big deal. It's kind of like storage unit type. You can see the locks right there. Um, I'm going to fix that and change that. The structure overall is pretty impressive and it went up pretty fast uh, just over two days um, you have a standard entrance door that's framed in it does have keyed lock so you can walk out squints cleaning up the little bit of mess on the floor uh, that's just from walking in and out of the building through the, the dirt and stuff. And then we have a 9 by 8 garage door. I've seen that door open. We got, unfortunately, it's see how the locks are. So they're from the outside. And the reason they do that is because it's, the screws are from the inside, so you can't unscrew the lock. But it's not the most impressive setup. So, I'm going to make it and actually they work really well, but well, you can see the style of the lock. So that would be on the outside of the building and it just slides the lever that goes into the, oh hi, oh, hi Mr. Daddy Long Legs, Mr. Daddy Long Legs. So it slides into that opening right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I got to, I got to get the grade proper cause it's a little low around the building. Still, I got to build all that up. That's just me not being the best machine operator grader. So that's only a little bit of the top soil. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Most of that's going to go to the outside. So I think I'm going to do some kind of lock because it has to roll up still, so it has to be integrated into the panel. So I think I might be able to reuse those locks and just put them to the inside. And then the uh, screw head, I can actually uh, grind it so you can't loosen the screws, you know what I mean? So almost make them like tamper proof, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But overall, really happy. Look at all that stuff in there. There is a trim. It. it was empty. Good job, dude. It was a tremendous, it's just amazing how much room is in here. Uh, I just, I can't wait to be able to just put stuff in here and just be, just, pe it's just peace of mind, really, just to work on our own stuff. My car, project cars, uh, so we can do more, U more YouTube, right? We gotta do more YouTube. It echoes. Yeah, right now it echoes. Echo? <clears throat> so <we're clears throat> yeah, I'm all I'm all clogged up. This weather's killing me. My allergies are kicking in. The weather's killing me. The uh, so the plan is we're gonna run electric sooner than later. I'm gonna do a hundred amp panel. Uh, we'll probably depending on situations. I have to go off the main panel because there's no other way. Um, I have a feed in the garage currently over in the house, but it's not, it's not enough. So we're going to end up going, it's going to come out from like right around that area and then we'll trench it here and then right along here. So we're going to put a panel, uh, right here. Oh, that was just dirt from when they put the panel up, it splashed. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so we'll have, what? 
I know, I already saw them. Leave them alone. They're good to have. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They're no, they're not. They won't hurt you. So the, do a 100 amp panel here, run all our feeds. Going to do basic uh, LED lighting. And honestly, if we do the correct lights, I think I might only need 10 of them uh, from the ceiling. And that should light up this place pretty well. I am going to do heat and air conditioning. We're going to use a mini split systems. Probably mount a unit there and a unit there and have two units outside. Um, I could do, I could do, you're silly. I could do one big unit, but I don't know if it's worth it. Um, I think two units combined would probably work better and they'll be more efficient because those things are awesome. So uh, as far as insulation, I am going to have somebody come and price it to spray foam, but I'm not 100% sure the spray insulation, if I can afford it yet. I might have them only do the roof for now just to keep the moisture down uh, and to try to keep some of the heat in. So I'm thinking that might be the best alternative. I was thinking about using rollout uh, insulation, you know, the, uh, it's almost like a plastic material and it just kind of rolls along the wall and then you tape it. That stuff works okay. That's what they were going to offer me. Uh, it was too expensive to have them do it. So I didn't even bother and I'm not, I don't really think it's the best style. So I don't know. At this point, electricity's first. Get some power, get some power in here and then, uh, Go from there. Once we get the electric in here, that's just huge because then I can move all my equipment in here, just all my tools, just everything. Oh, and the floor. I don't know what we're going to do with the floor. What do you mean with the floor? Uh, just to, like to, seal, to seal it, though. You got to seal the concrete <clears throat> so it doesn't get damaged. You got to do something with it. So I don't know. That's something just kind of trying to figure out so are you happy are you happy about it are you happy about it nice so as, as you can see the, the first item in the garage is my lawnmower because that's been living outside for the past few weeks because my shed is filled with kid stuff and I decided that the lawnmower could live, live outside underneath the cover it tent or underneath the pop-up tent on the patio for a while. No big deal. What are you talking about? Then we know my house. Your house? Oh, it's your house. Yeah, I pay all the bills. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Sure. No, I don't. Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, we definitely got to get. I got to get the grade of the pro of the property correct because. A little bit of water pocketing. I don't like that. I Where? Gotta, uh, just around the edge of the building. I'm going to put gravel. Like right <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to put gravel right up to the building. But I am going to, I'm going to do grass on this side. Even though this is a garage door, I'm doing grass. And that's because this door is only here for airflow. And just in case I had to Close. bring a vehicle in on this side and I can't move something over there. So that way this leaves all of this open. Um, it's really not a big deal right now. It's not, it's not hurting anything leaving it open. It's kind of nice. It isn't nice. <laughs> okay, bud. So that's it. Uh, so you got anything to say, bud? Uh, no. Okay, we're good. I do, I do, I do. No, you don't. I, no, you don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, and they left me, they were actually nice enough. They left me the extra, they had some extra pieces. What's this? That's some insulation. It's actually some good stuff. But some nice <clears throat> extra frame pieces. I so if I want to do what, dude? Enough. What? Um, this is all from my. No, it's not. Shop. We're not saying that. Please. <laughs> so basically, they left me some uh, wall studs and some short cut pieces from when they had extra from the last building and my building. So that's good because I can put some windows in. Eventually, I can frame them in myself and use it their. Be easy. Yeah, I'll use their. Uh, windows the are really same steel. easy. Look how dirty my so. hands are. My hands are white. Dude, you you have huge gloves on. 
I know. <clears throat> so that's it. Short video, but I figured you guys can see what's been going on. Um, I'm real happy with everything. I mean, it's it's a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie, but it's something that I've been planning for a long time. Much. It was twenty five dollars and sixty two cents. That's cheap. I know, right? It's crazy. No, I'm not talking about. I'm not gonna say numbers, but it was expensive. If you do your research, it's it's tough. It's not easy to uh, do something like this, but I'm glad I was able to. And to be honest, I'm just an average person, so it's not like it's out of reach for anybody. Right? I got something to say. Say it. You gotta share, like, subscribe. That's we gotta get. We gotta get. We have to start making money on YouTube because I gotta pay for this building. So make sure to. What's Wonderland Wizards? Mm. Oh, what is like, it? Like and subscribe. Echo, echo, echo. Hello, 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 hello. So yeah, I want I want to park. I want to like so badly park stuff in here right now, but at the same time, I want to figure out what I'm doing with the floor. Why did they have like? I don't want to get the floor all gross, but Why I guess it really doesn't. I don't know. Maybe it's just me being weird. I don't think it matters. Why do they have an extra post right here? So that's where the seam is for the paneling. So you notice this seam right here? Oh, yeah. So that's where the panel overlaps because the panels are, are a certain oh. length. So this panel is the length of all the way to the corner. Oh, And then this okay. panel... Go, okay. Yeah. I'm answering your question and you're singing the, na the national anthem, dude. Come on. I'm sorry. So this is for support. So that way that will not flex. <clears throat> so, so we're, uh, I'm just hanging out in here, taking it all in right now, to be honest. So, but yeah, we created this little driveway. I, I did raise the building up. So the height of the building is higher than the grade. And that is because I wanted it to not have a water issue because the back corner of our property, um, all the way there was a little bit higher. So I wanted to keep the building wow. higher than that. And then that kept it a little bit higher all the way around. So, but this is, this is still my property here. There had to be a 25 foot offset. So the property line is literally like right here. So we're gonna do a nice um, row of like little green giants or abravites or something. You just pull them off, dude. Like this? So. We'll keep everyone updated. We're just, I uh, figured I'd do a little video on the building. It, it was a long process. Um, we started, actually the whole process of doing the building wasn't too bad. It, we started in August. So what is it? August? Tesla. We started in first week of August, was it? Or end of July, end of July, early August. So we're almost at the end of September. Yeah. So that's not too bad. What is that? Two months, two months a little over two months. So the process wasn't horrible. It was just a little, no, a little bit of a long. Like late August, I think. Trying to get the. Or no, early August. Trying to just get all the funds and all that, and then permits and all that. That took longer because we started the process back in March. Actually, that's yeah. That's when I started actually uh, trying to. Actual, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah, March. So. That's a long, that's like my yep. birthday time. I know, right? Which was like two so. years ago. But that's it. No one celebrated my birthday last So we are, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. So I can't wait. It's just so much better now. I just. Why do you turn it off? Doing, I had to switch the camera angle. It's just way better than before. So that's it. Squints. Are we done? All right, we're done. Turn it around. So. <laughs> nice gloves, by the way. This is not cover my ears. <laughs> that, and then this. All these. Nice. So. <laughs> um, we don't need you. <laughs>